if statements work as you would expect from other languages that you're familiar with. In particular, if you're familiar with Ruby syntax, it is very similar. So let's try writing a program to check if the number is a positive value or a negative value. And comparing numbers also work the same way in any other languages. So we can use the bigger than or less than or double equal sign to compare if it's equal. You can see that it is outputting positive value because one is bigger than zero. So if you want to add another branch, you can use the else if. And remember that it is one word and there's no space in between else and if. Now when you put it to zero, it says the value is zero. And when you put it to negative value, it shall put negative value. So the thing to keep in mind is that in if statement in Vim script, there's no bracket or curly braces anywhere. And you have to end the if statement with end if. And if you want to use else if, then um, remember that it is one keyword, there's no space in between like um, C or JavaScript.